Uh, what's happening? We've got part two of lesson seven, uh, working with ablative. First, we're going to go over a review of the case uses so we know what function the sentence each case gets. Uh, we'll put it to some practice, uh, hit you up with a mnemonic for the endings, um, and then go from there. So, nominative is our subject, does the action. It's also a predicate nominative or adjective. Predicate, just a fancy way of saying comes after the verb. We've got our words here, of or apostrophe s, and if it's plural, it can be s apostrophe, but this shows possession. Dative is two, and that's gonna be your indirect object, which receives the direct object. And words in Latin that set this up There are a lot of them, but there we go. Those are the main ones. Do, give, nutio, announce, naro, tell, mondo, entrust, monstro, point out. Accusative is a direct object which receives the action. And I put an extra blank in there. I'm going to fill it in, but we're not going to worry about it now. We'll learn it later, but... Object of the preposition. Then ablative, our word with that is with and its means or instrument. The tool you use to accomplish something. All right, so looking at uh, this section, we're gonna put the underlying words in the Latin using the words up here. All right, so we saw the card. This is direct object, which equals accusative, and just one card singular. The word for card is chorus, so I've got a chorus there, and I need to make that US. I gotta switch it to the accusative singular. So I look at my chart, second declension, UM, boom. Give money to the girl. She is receiving the direct object, which makes her the indirect object, which is dative and singular. All right, Puella is the word for girl. Uh, if you look first declension, because that ends in an A, find out dative singular, A-E. The servants, families are small. Boom, genitive possession. So I got my word for servant there. I gotta drop that business. All right, look for my genitive, and because the apostrophe is to the right, that's going to be plural. So genitive plural, O-R-U-M. All right, now the next nine of these, try on your own, and then I'm going to explain as I go. So pause, and then when you're ready, all right, you can hit the play button, or if you're struggling. So nominative plural. That A is going to become an AE. This is an indirect object, which is dative and singular. So that US is going to become an O. Girls are brave, nominative and plural. So that A becomes an AE. All right, seven sons are brave. All right, that's genitive and plural because the apostrophe is on the right. So I dropped off the US and I got Orem with the farmer, boom, ablative, singular. So there's my word for farmer. I gotta put a long mark over that A, super important. Uh, give close to the servants. That's the indirect object because it receives the direct object, which is dative and plural. There's my stem, and data plural is east. Bring the cart, this one's tricky. The subject's an implied you. This receives the action, so it's accusative. And it's plural. So I got my cards, boom, OS, I have my stem. There's my ending. With is ablative, and it's gonna be plural. 
There's my stem and Adler Pearls East. The girl's food is spoiled. All right, genitive plural, because the apostrophe is on the right. So I need an A-R-U-M at the end. If you have any questions about that, please let me know. If you need another explanation, just play it back. Um, right here, I'm not going to sing it for you, but this is a mnemonic I made for uh, first and second declension. If you notice, that's the ending, that's the ending, that's the ending, 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 ending. Well, oh, this is kind of split, but that's an ending, that's an ending. And then same deal here. Now, for anybody who's really studying this and paying attention, I just want to point out there is a little issue. There needs to be an S there. Hopefully at some point I can link in the updated one. We'll get there. Our more case usage, children is the direct object, so that's going to be D accusative. Boys is showing possession, so B genitive, the book is good, subject, so A nominative. He gave food to the dolphin. This is an indirect object which receives the direct object, so dative, C. He fought with a hammer. This is going to be means. So ablative, E. Um, he walked to the store. We're not gonna worry about that. That's another one of those happy little mistakes. Seems to be on quite a, like we're up to three on this sheet. So I'll step my game up next one. All right, children's, all right, possessive, be genitive. Uh, the servants are happy, that's the subject. So A, nominative. Okay, we got the apostrophe on the right, so that's genitive and plural. Look at the endings, you'll see it's D, A-R-U-M. Bought many cards, it's a direct object, which is accusative, plural. So if you look at all the endings, that's going to be A. He gave money to the girl. This is an indirect object, which is dative and singular. If you check out all the endings, the A is an A-E when it's dative singular. Girl saved his life, that's uh, the subject, so nominative singular, A. The servant's life is not worth much. Possession, so genitive singular, C. He gave freedom to the servant, indirect object, which equals dative, and there's just one, so A. The girls fought bravely, nominative and plural, so you need that A to become an AE, so we got A. All right, last uh, page of this, and here's hoping I didn't make any more mistakes. So we're gonna take uh, those four words up top. We're gonna decline one of them, specifically P, Lux, et cetera, and then use the rest to translate the underlined part into Latin. So P, the A is gonna tell me it's First declension, so I need to use all the A endings. Remember that long mark. Whoa, I'm getting ahead of myself. That long mark, that A long mark is really important, so remember that one. So, 
Um, try these 10 with the exception of this guy. Don't worry about this guy. Or if you want to, uh, take my word for it, this is going to be accusative singular. My mind is all over the place. Holy cow. All right, accusative singular, sweet. Maybe it's the music. I don't know. All right, so try these out when you're ready to go. Um, you know, unpause it. Genitive singular because of that guy. So the US is going to become an I. Data plural because it's the indirect object. So the US is going to become an I. This is going to be accusative singular because it's the direct object. You is doing the seeing and balls what's being seen. Um, that's going to tell us it's genitive singular. So the A becomes an E. So the quarters being the plural. So the US becomes an A and E one. So that's the farm. X, the direct object, so it's usually a singular. Fun then. Of is going to be general. Alright, to the girl, that indirect object is going to be dative, so that A becomes an AE. To the farm, I told you. One most case stuff, we shall save the family. That's a direct object. 